Hello everyone, I am a Duke James. This is a continuation of Georgia. We're helping uh, Kira Kialnu get their independence. We'll uh, finish up this war. There's a f noble family feud. Where is this? We'll just settle the issue diplomatically. Yeah, Crimea has 58,000 troops. I knew they, uh... They built up a ton of troops. They get an obscene amount of troops. Not sure who to attack next. I was thinking Ottomans. We'll see. Could probably try and finish them off. We'll see how this goes. There's a gifted me if I say, all right, don't, don't give me these events. My piety is 100%, my church influence is 75%. You shouldn't give me those events. Shouldn't be too much longer. All right, they can handle it from here. There's only 4,000 troops. They have 10,000, so we'll just let them uh, continue the rest of the war. We can continue converting. The Empire of the Romans has for, they formed a personal union with Morea. They will now be ruled by the Empire of the Romans. And we gained a bunch of claims. It's good for the Empire of the Romans. Blue Horde lost to the White Horde. Looks like Hassa brought their troops up. Also, there's some charismatic Sufi rebels. Crimea desires our provinces. No, Crimea, you can't get my provinces. We 
We are getting banking in uh, Trapezunta. So that will actually be pro present here sometime next year. Only problem is the autonomy is 100%, so it's not going to actually really do anything. It's going to be zero development since that autonomy is 100%. Should be decreasing soon. I don't really want to uh, get tech levels except mill tech, unless I have to. Because I'd rather wait to embrace banking before I start doing that, which is why I'm putting a lot of my points into state religion. These last two are really good. Missionary strength and uh, monthly autonomy change. Your legitimacy is eh. And uh, recover army morale speed is eh as well. But I really like those uh, last two ideas. We do get 10 admin a month. Go ahead and take the next one for that innovativeness. Just keep going. Also, we get uh, Fort Defense Income from Vassals and Vassal Force Limit Contribution. We have no Vassals now, but uh, that was what? That was Fort Defense, right? Georgian Protectorates. Yeah, Fort Defense plus 10%. Not great, but. Uh, it's alright, I suppose. I'm not going to take any of these provinces through war dynamism. Let's get rid of our general. No reason to stress him. Looks like they're trying to fight the uh, Sufis. We're at 91%. So I imagine a peace deal will come soon. Crimea has uh, war dynamism on all of these provinces. It might not be a bad idea to immediately jump on Crimea, assuming they don't get any allies and they don't build 60,000 troops again. Which I think shouldn't happen. Alright, there we go. Looks like they give us all of these cores back, which is nice. That's six development, five development. Uh, they remain subjects to... What? Why? Why would they do that? What are you doing? So they remain subjects, and uh, they took a bunch of territory from them.
and we're not allied. Kirkianlu has changed their capital. So I could immediately go and attack Kirkianlu. And the Jalarids, Jalarids would not join because they hate them. Negative 200. I don't think that's going to change for a long time, so... If I attack Karakianlu, Jalarids would not join. Mazandaran would join, and the Romans would not join because it's a far away war. I'd like to get somebody else if I attack them because I think they, they had, what, 10,000 troops, which is a little bit too much for me right now. There's a, uh, the fate of the Catholicites. So we could appoint a loyal one, which would give us negative one unrest, tax income plus 0.5, and local missionary strength negative 1% for the rest of the game. Or we could just grab 250 ducats. Um, so I like the idea of getting rid of that missionary strength. So I want to convert the province. And I like the idea of getting 250 ducats right now. 0.5 ducats. Let's see, if, if 400 years, that would be 200. And that's tax income. So autonomy would affect that. We're just going to take the uh, ducats. And plus, you know, the time value of money. 250 ducats right now is worth more than even 600 ducats over 500 years. So we're just going to uh, take that 250 ducats. Nice nice cash stack now, 500 ducats. And uh, I'm not sure what my next move is going to be. Shirvan has announced me as a rival. I think I already rivaled them. I did. As long as they're allied with Fars, I'm not sure I can... Unless I attack them and then Fars can't get to me. Which is possible because they do have to walk through the Shalorids. And then either Karakianlu and Mazandaran. Karakianlu is threatened towards me. Do you want to become my vassal? No. Oh, they let me support their independence again. Yeah, I fell for that once before. The problem with Karakianlu is it might look like they don't have a lot of troops, but then they just get all of their troops from the estates, from the tribes. Yeah, they, they have 3,000, so it's like, well, I have 6,000, so I could attack them, but then it's really uh, misleading. I have to deal with that with most of these countries, because a lot of them are tribal. So they can go to their, their uh, tribal estates. I, on the other hand, have no tribals. No tribes. Which is unfortunate, because that's at least like one, one troop every war. I'm going to end this part here and then uh, think of my next target to attack. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.